Right then, I've got one of these here um, Google Nest Home Mini things. And yeah, I know, privacy out the window. Big Brother is watching you and all of that. But you know, I've been using Google for a long while and I've got the assistant on my phone. And yeah, it most definitely listens to your phone and knows what you're doing and what you're shopping for and what your friends might want and blah. But I'm resigned to the fact that this is the future. In fact, it is the present that we're living in. So don't lecture me. I know already. Anyway, I'm going to show you some stuff with this. Um, basically, setting up these. Um, status, smart Wi-Fi plug adapter and colour changing temperature. I haven't figured out the colour changing temperature thingamajig. Uh, but yeah, light bulbs. Smart light bulbs, because, you know... Smart light bulbs are kind of cool if you want to turn your lights on and off while you're still in bed and don't want to have to get out of bed, which is me. Anyway, these things are a pain in the ass to set up with that. The BT Home Hub 2, I think they're calling it, something like that. Uh, yeah, they, they, don't, they don't play nicely, so uh, I'm going to show you how to do it. Probably works with other things as well as these but you definitely will want it with these, want to know how to do it. Words. So the first things that you're going to need are two apps. One you've probably got already, which is the Google Home app that you will want for your uh, Google Nest Mini thing. Uh, and the other is the uh, Status Smart app, which you can get on the Google Play Store. Both necessary if you want to. I mean, you can just have the smart, God, status smart app if you just want to like control your lights from your your phone. No problem. You can do it just with that. But if you want to actually be able to talk and tell your tell your lights to go on and off, and by that I mean this, like, hey Google, turn big light on. Okay, turning on the big light. <laughs> Uh, not to Peter K. Yeah, OK Google, turn off big light. Got it. Turning the big light off. I do have a lamp shade for that, I just haven't put it back on yet. So uh, yeah, we, we're going to put smart lights in there. But anyway, you've got to get these apps. Next, because a lot of these here smart things aren't that smart at all, you need to do some stuff with your uh, router. If you're using the BT Home Hub 2, you need to put your, um, your router onto 2.4 gigahertz and turn off the 5 gigahertz just for setting up. You can set it back. But uh, to get to your, your, your this screen, if you haven't got your instructions for your router, because you've put them somewhere safe and forgotten, you need to put that their um, IP number into your uh, browser, and it will bring you here. Um, and there I am showing my uh, Wi-Fi network name. I'm going to have to blank that out, because I'm dumb. Anyway, once you're on this screen, you need to click that, and then it's going to ask you to change your set well no you're going to ask it to change your settings and uh, you click that and then it's going to ask you for your password which I'm not going to show you but in which I'm not showing you you need to turn your 5g off like that and you need to set your wireless mode to mode 3 like that and then you need to click save and there's a fair chance that a whole ton of your online stuff will suddenly be offline. Do this at your own risk. I haven't had a problem. You might. But uh, we're going to turn everything back to normal when we're done setting up our not very smart, smart things. Save. Dire warnings, are you sure? Blah, blah. Yeah, I'm sure. Not sure about yours, but this is how we do it. Uh. <laughs> I'm showing my Wi-Fi password. 
<laughs> God, I'm good. Okay, having set the Wi-Fi up to 2.4 gigahertz and mode 3, we're going to set up one of these here smart Wi-Fi plug adapter thingies. Power on off switch thing just there. Plug it into the wall. Turn on the power. Now, it's flashing green light. That's because I'd already set it into um, setup mode, which you do by holding that power button for five seconds. Uh, I've been faffing about, so I was sort of halfway through setting it up. But yeah, you plug it in, you turn it on, you hold for five seconds, that light will blink. Then we come to this here, Status Smart app. Bring that up. Go to the plus button. Go to, should be the very first menu you come to, but it's in electrical, socket, Wi-Fi. Making sure not to show you my password, because it's just there, under there. Um, if you're setting up for the first time, which you probably are if you're watching this video, video um, you will see your, uh, you will be able to input your, your Wi-Fi, I don't know, ID number, whatever. It should be in a pull-down menu. And then there's a space there for you to fill in your password. If you successfully set up one of these smart items, it'll save your password and you won't need to keep putting it in like what I did, because I kept failing. Anyway, press next. And it will say, it'll basically tell you all the things I just told you. Power on, if it hasn't been, after it has been powered off for 10 seconds. Mm, okay. Next. Press and hold the reset button for 5 seconds until the indicator blinks. Yes, did that already. As shown in the figure, the indicator blinks 3 times per second. Yes, okay. Confirm the indicator is blinking. Yes, it is. Press next. And it will do this. And if you've got it all correct, it will connect it up to the Wi-Fi. Please. This is where I had trouble before until I set everything at 2.4G and mode 3. There we go. Now, we can go here and change the name of it, because we don't want to call it Smart One Way Adapter 3, because that would just be confusing. This is going to have a fan plugged into it, so I'm calling it Fan 3. Save. Click. Done. And there we got it. Fan three, spot three, spot. Yeah, a whole load of stuff. And we're done there. And then we bring up the uh, home. Google Home, if you want to connect it to your Google Nest do for what's it. You bring that up. And then a uh, little bit of editing and I'll show you what to do next. To make this work with Google Home, you've got to, uh, you basically, you've got to add that app to Google Home. And I'm trying to remember how I did that. Was it like this? Setup device. Ah, works with Google. Yep, okay. You click that, and it will give you a whopping great big list of apps that work with Google Home and the Status Smart app was one of them. So basically once you've uh, you've got your socket or your light or whatever working with this app you add this app to this app and you can do things like Hey Google turn on fan 2 Sure Turning fan to on. Thank you. That makes me so happy. You're most welcome. Cool. 
Right then, this is another difficult bit. We have got to put that there spotlight into discovery mode, whatever. You know how I held the button for five seconds on the socket? Well, there's no button on these things. So uh, what you have to do is turn them off and on again, or on and off again, basically five times quickly until it starts flashing at you. And that is a bitch. It's hard. It is not really fit for purpose. Let me get a tripod. Right, you will see. This is awkward. Just showing it's not in standby mode. One, two, three, four, five. Didn't work. Didn't work. Oh, okay, it did work. So here we are back on this app. Press the plus, find lighting, light source, Wi Fi. Yeah. It's got your, uh, your router details, you have them in already. Click that, click that. That bit there confirm the light is blinking. Next. And it'll go through all that. It's basically what we did with the socket. And hopefully this is going to work. Uh, the light has stopped blinking. That's disconcerting. Is it going to work? It is going to work. Okay, so rename it. We'll call this one Spot One. Save. Done. So, okay, oh, cool. We've got color thingy. We can change the color of it. Well, that's fun. I don't know if you can see that from up there, but uh, yeah, we can change the, the color tone of the light from this here app. Theoretically, Google should now recognize that. Oh, God. Okay, Google, turn off spot one. Okay, turning the spot one off. Yay. Now we can put the Wi-Fi back onto its original settings, turn back on 5G and put it back onto mode 1. Or well, we would, but I've got to set up two more spots. Ugh. OK, Google, turn on big light. Got it. Turning the big light on. Turn on all spots. Sure. Turning on three lights. Turn on fan 1. Okay, turning fan one on. Turn on fan two. Got it. Turning fan two on. Yay. So, it's a pain in the ass setting these things up, but it is possible. You just got to tinker with your router. I mean, a lot of routers won't have a problem. Some you mean may need to differentiate between 5G and 2.4G, gigahertz, whatever. Um, if what I've shown you isn't working, I don't know the answer. So it's like, I, I kind of expect a billion and one questions. I'm sorry, if it's not in this video, I don't know. Okay, thank you for watching. So, is he starting some kind of cookery show? It says something here about having pastry on. Pies? I like pies. <laughs>